If you had failed back surgery, well, they probably didn't look to see if you had trigger points in the psoas. And, you know, they didn't really see if you sat a lot, maybe you drive a lot, or sit in the office a lot, or maybe you just do a lot of sit-ups, right? So, these are the kind of things that are going to create some trigger points in the psoas and create a havoc, all right? So, the psoas is a cuddly but muscular kind of uh, tissue. So, how are we going to get it today? There's many ways to get it. Today, we're just going to be on our back, all right? Have a peanut on our hand, belly button right here. So if I drop the knees down to this side, I'm going to go about two inches, okay? And I'm just going to press down and it just kind of move around. Oh, there it is, until you find it. And you'll feel it. And then from there, once you kind of get that sustained pressure, you can start to slide. So I'm actually sliding across, as you see, my shirt here. I'm sliding across the skin and milking that psoas. It's going to create a lot of tension release and make me feel a lot better in the low back, even in the inside of the knee if I have pain there. All right, and this is all due to sitting for far too long. Now, when you go to the left side, all right, if you feel like a pulsating sensation, all right, just move a little bit more over to the left because that would be your uh, an artery that runs down there and. You don't want to necessarily mess with that, but, oh, there it is. All right, so give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Be well, keep on peanutting, and remember, the issues with the tissue.